Let us have a look at this question. A monopoly firm faces a market demand function Q is equal to 30 minus P and has a cost function CQ equals to half Q square. What is the socially optimal price and calculate the consumer surplus, producer surplus and deadweight loss due to monopoly? So we know this that monopoly is going to produce at MC equals to MR. So let us first of all try to find out that price and then we'll also find out the socially optimal price, which is nothing but equal to P equal to MC. So please write monopoly. produces at point where MC is equal to MR. So what is MC? Uh, what is MC? That is derivative of this uh, cost function with respect to Q that comes out to be just Q, right? And what is MR? I need to find out MR for you. So I'll write P is equal to 30 minus Q. Total revenue is P into Q, which is 30 Q minus Q square. And MR is 30 minus 2 Q. Right? 30 minus 2 Q. So my Q comes out to be 10. And at Q equals to 10, what is P equals to 30 minus 10, which is coming out to be 20. So I'll write this as QM and PM. Right. So I'll just draw this also. So when Q is 0, P is 30. When P is 0, Q is 30. Right. For the MR, function is 30 minus 2Q. So when Q is 0, MR is 30. When MR is 0, Q is 15. Right. Okay. And then you have MC function. Here you can just write comma MR comma MC. So this is what my MC function is. Also, this is MC is just equal to Q. This is what my demand function is. This is what my MR function is. And where MC is equal to MR, mm -hmm, that particular point quantity is coming out to be 10 and the price is coming out to be 50, fair enough. Okay, now at Right. For about what about the socially optimal price? That will be P equals to MC. <clears throat> right. So it means what? P is what? 30 minus Q. MC is what? Q. So Q is what? Uh, your 15, right? We can call this as competitive price, uh, competitive thing. This is Q is equal to 15, fair enough, right? So at Q equals to 15, this is the thing. And uh, at QC equals to 15, what is price equal to? 30 minus Q, that is 15. 30 minus Q, that is 15, so. So at Q equals to 15, your price comes out to be this guy. 15, fair enough. PC. Okay. Now, but what monopolist is charging? Monopolist is charging P equals to 20 and, and it is producing Q equals to 10. Fair enough. Okay. So what is consumer surplus? Hmm. Uh, consumer surplus of what monopolist is charging? So let me just write this instead. Monopolist charges P equals to 20 
and q equals to 10 right a equals to 20 and produces q equals to 10 okay what is the consumer surplus consumer surplus is going to be for the monopolist this this area 30 minus 20 into 10 minus 0 into half so consumer surplus is half into 30 due to monopoly care 30 minus 20 into 10 minus 0 that comes out to be 25 it comes out to be 25 okay what about this guy your uh, what about this guy uh, dead weight loss what about this guy, dead weight loss? So that comes out to be. Mm -hmm. So I this entire area is dead weight loss, no? This area. This is what dead weight loss is. I need to find out this point. Na? So beta your MC is equal to Q now. Hmm? So if Q is 10, then MC is also 10. So this this 45 degree line is just MC is equal to Q, right? So when Q is 10, this particular point here, this particular point is also 10. So if I want to find out the dead weight loss, then it's simple. It is going to be what? Half into 20 minus 10 into 15 minus 10. And that comes out to be uh, your 25. Okay. What is the producer surplus? Of this, so the best way to find out the producer surplus in this case is you can just find out the revenue, right? Minus the cost. So producer surplus is producer surplus is revenue. Revenue is what? 20 into 10. Price 20, quantity 10 for monopolist, right? Minus cost. Cost is what? Half Q square. Mm -hmm. That comes out to be 150. That comes out to be 150. Fair enough? Okay. Thank you, madam.